Hey everybody, it's Nalo, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a cool trick that I learned about my MacBook and iPhone. So if you're a content creator like myself and you record your content on your iPhone, you know the struggle of uploading it to your MacBook can be quite the challenge, especially with uploading it to the cloud, uploading it back to your computer, whatever the case may be. Well, I learned that there's a way to connect your iPhone to your MacBook and you're able to transfer that video or content to your computer significantly faster. So in order to do that, let's go to the computer and let me show you how you do that. So this app is already built into your computer. So if you do the spotlight search, which is command and the space bar, and you type in image capture, hit enter, it's gonna pull it up. My phone's already connected because that's what I'm recording on. And so it will pull up my whole iPhone library, images, photos, everything. So once you pull up image capture, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create a folder to source all your data or your content to. So I created this folder called YouTube videos. And once you've selected all your videos, I'll select this one right here. I am gonna go where here, right here where it says import to. We are gonna select other and it's gonna bring up a whole menu. This folder's on my desktop, so I'll go to desktop, and then I'm gonna select YouTube video. So I'm gonna select that, choose that, and now if I wanted to select multiples, you can, or different types of videos, whatever it is, your whole library is here, and you can sort that however you would like. So I'm gonna select the one video for this tutorial, and I'm gonna hit download, and then it's gonna start importing the video. And this import goes so much quicker than before. There was times when I was airdropping or I was sending it as a text message or an iCloud link just to kind of speed up the process, but it was always so slow to transfer any type of media from my phone to my computer. So now it's done, that's how quick it was. And the media is here and I can put it right into the editing software that I'm using and go from there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this little trick or tip helped you. Please consider subscribing to my channel and please hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.